20 years. I hate my words. It's sound like fucking gunshots. I don't know how that's not a thing with, like, veterans and PTSD trauma. Like, how the hell do you think we cope with these stupid fucking celebrations? He's big. I wish I could be that big. Hi. Hi. Good. Yeah, sorry. Hi. <laughs> Good, how are you? Oh uh, yeah, I did yeah. that uh, with the London Police Services. Okay. Um, right. Sorry, is it? No, it's okay. Um, I can back up too. No, no, it's it's just it's just. This at all or? Um, <laughs> no, just because like I'm highly vulnerable right now, so I just okay. don't want to, you know. Fair enough, it was her. Um, but thank you. Yeah, um, I can take a picture of it if that's okay. That would be a lot easier to be honest, just because like I won't. Rem- do you want to go somewhere else? Or? No, it's okay. I okay. just don't want to disclose anything that someone hears. Oh. You were talking about uh, assault that occurred when you guys were together. Uh, that you said you were reluctant to participate in, but you did participate in them. Am I getting that right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it was like, you're fighting a lot of being scared. Um, I mean, it's like... You fight until you can't fight anymore. I'm sorry? You fight until you can't fight anymore, and then you relent. I mean, the context of, like, a Christian criminal code, yeah, yeah, but, like, for me, I was taught how to be a girl at a young age because I was in modeling and acting, so when you're with an abusive partner who takes advantage of the fact that you are trans and you come out to them, the, yeah, it's a hate crime, yeah. for sure, like, I told him I wanted to be just like him, and then he used what I had at home against me to manipulate me to do whatever he wanted. And the only time I could break up with him was when he graduated. So, like, any person that knows him and knows us together or knew us together can attest to that. And, like, I've always been a guy. Like, I've never had a choice. Like, I went to Medway. I don't know if you guys know of Medway, yeah, but, like, yeah. like, I said, it's like, like people a- die there. Like, if you've ever watched Boys Don't Cry, like, that was my life. And, like, I didn't have any, like friends to help me I had my mom and my dad and my sister so like it wasn't my choice to live there it was my choice to go to school there like my mom remarried and like we happened to fucking go into that whatever the hell kind of education that was because like I don't know what the hell they were trying to teach you but like Mr. Passfield like sincerely fucked up my friends and like that's some child ridiculous sexual abuse right there like that's predatory behavior to wait till somebody's 18 to contact them to have sex with them because you were their teacher, like, you went to Bimmy Ridge, like, in Europe with them, with their parents' permission, and now you want to have sex with them? What the fuck is that? Like, as a man, I can't, I, I, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't, like, I, I would always love to, I've always wanted to be a teacher, and these people are teaching? Like, yeah, I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. Like, I can't be a teacher. You want to know why? Because I'm the predator. Why? I didn't do any fucking thing. Like, I've just been trying to live my life. Like, yeah. my parents keep calling me thinking I'm going to kill myself. But, like, I'm the one trying to, like, save lives here. And, like, I've been online and now I'm a target because I have to live here and transition here. Like, I don't have a choice. Yeah. Well, I agree with you. Yeah, like, he's, he's psychotic. Like, his, he's, been, he's been molested by his own, like, family and, like, his parents did nothing about it. And he's only, he's also raped his sister and molested her, too. Like, like I can't I can't stress enough that, like, not only did he know I was a boy, he denied it consistently so that I believed it 
And then he raped me when I was 14. Like, What was your name? I didn't. I didn't. Sorry. Bill Elliot. Bill Elliot. And. Demaris. Demaris. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Just Billy. Stupid. Billy Elliot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I watched too many Adam Sandler movies and I got this fucking name. So, like, here we go. <laughs> it's a great name. <laughs> I liked it. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, um, we have to get interview with him. So yeah, for sure. I'm just, like, I'm so, like, apprehensive. Like, I've reported so many times, and, like, when I, when you told me that the only thing on my record was the 2011 thing, like, yeah. I had to call my mom, and my mom is, like, beside herself, because she was with me yeah. when I reported everything else, and I don't know if that's the provincial or the lo- local, but, like, if it's child sexual assault and it's continuing to happen and to happen to me, like, I think that should also be yeah. taken into consideration, because I have reported it. Just to put your mind at ease a little bit, when I said there's you're only on one time, it's with us. Yeah. We don't share a computer system, which we did. We don't share a computer system. I never checked the system to see if it's on track. So if you've been talking to me, because you were... Sorry, uh, I didn't hear you. Uh, <laughs> I haven't checked the London Police Services records. Okay. Because if you're reporting all that stuff, because I know you were apprehensive to go to 6 and dead house. Yeah. So um, if you're reporting to London Police Service, I didn't check that system. Okay. You just have our system once. Right. So, that's why I said you were only uh, on there one time. So I didn't, I didn't have a chance to check that. I just was okay. asking if it was on the Yeah. So you, you probably are on the There's like, record. there's an active criminal trial in Toronto, like right now. Oh, okay. um, and like that regards a rape and sexual assault at work and rape by a coworker. And they also denied that it was hate based because I'm not trans yet. Like, I don't really know what to tell you. Like, this sucks. Like, I'm getting, like, I'm seeing a surgeon on the 14th, like, of this month, like, about my boobs, because I also have cancer. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, I want to talk about Chomo, man. Like, fucking hate me alive to live through that shit. And, like, to know, like, I'm going through transition right now. My pre-transition and my child pornography shit exists, and he's gloating about it. Yeah, so we're going to bring it into that future. It's not cool. Like, I told him. Like, he held it over my head, that's why I never fucking came out, like... So, can you get in? That's not, not right. Not of course. So, uh, it is. What was the point? Sorry, it's just... Oh, sorry. That's what we do, right? That's what we do, yes. Yeah, one of those two are going to hold you tomorrow. I'll, I'll be touching you tomorrow. Like, um, there was a offering of a dog with Toronto. Like, uh, I was, I spoke to, like... I don't know how many divisions, but, like, they told me that there was, like, an option to have, like, a service animal there, so, like, because, like, I have, I have to, like, hold something when I talk about shit. Would you be interested in something like that? Yeah, like, I've been trying to get my own service dog, like, my dog passed away on the 1st of March of this year, and, like, he wasn't trained, but, like, yeah, essentially, like, he's, like, you know. Today. Yeah, I like. Think I think they have a dog, I'm not sure, I'll definitely try to get services It would just, like, help me. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, I, I will remind you to send you. They've just only been, they've been the, like, literally the only thing that I can talk to. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. We can, I'll try and reach that. I, I'm not promising that, but yeah. we can try. Um, I'm not <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, like, I've, I've been trying to adopt an animal. Obviously, it's hard. Um, he passed just before COVID. Obviously, I was mourning. Um, but, like, it's very obvious to me that that's something that, over time, I've noticed that I, that I do need. But I'm coping, obviously, like, but, yeah, it's just, yeah. Okay. And if you know anybody that actually does that, like, service dogs, like, I don't know anybody, like, but, like, that would be helpful, too. Services, maybe actually your placement received they might actually be able to Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they um, I also want to mention, I made a report to police really recently, like, from Victoria Park. I had to run because I was being, like, like, I tried to explain to them in as short as possible as I could why I was running for my life home, and they couldn't really understand 
why, and they pretty much just told me to stop calling, and nobody showed up and still haven't, and uh, it was in regards to a group of 20 to like 30 people in the parking lot of the church um, by Williams Coffee and Victoria Park, just hanging out and like heckling and pointing. And, like, they all had cars revving their engine at me. Like, I went to farm school. I look trans now. I'm out online, and these people graduated with me, and now they just do this all the time, and I'm at risk. So, like, any type of protection would be wonderful because I don't like going outside. Yeah, so if, <laughs> if so going back to Brent, if things were progressed in the Yeah. That would be, like, that would give me so much less anxiety like because I know what he's doing to Chelsea and like I don't know if she knows how like deep-seated his shit is because like he's been enabled his whole life and he's gotten away with it and his mom's let him if you know who Chelsea is Brent Titting's ex-girlfriend they used to live together can you please reach out to her and give her a heads up that he is not a safe person thanks also ask her if she's okay and maybe uh give her a big fucking hug so, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like his mom needs a talking to, too. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, my mom beside herself. And she had a stroke. And, like, I don't want to put her through any more shit, you know? Like, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're seeing at this point. It's just hard. Do you want to look at this, too? Like, this is what I was given for my jaw. It's a splint. Like, I wear it most of the time, except when I'm talking. Like, it goes on my bottom jaw, and, like, I don't know if you can tell I talk yep. on a slant. Yep. So, like, like, yeah. Yeah, same thing. But um, at night, it dislocates, so I, that's, like, essentially... Yeah, like, I'll definitely give you my family contact information because I've been trying to get that, um, like, really, like, a precedent because most of the time um, I can recall and remember things really well and, like, I can speak really well, but if I'm in pain, it's, 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 it's like, hit or miss with, like, my attitude or my, like, trauma recall and, like, my, like, ability to let, like, bear anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so that number I reached, yeah, that's yeah. the best number. Yeah, this is my new phone number. I've had to change it multiple times. I've had to move multiple times. Like, this isn't, like, new. Yeah. So what unit are you staying at? I'm going to fast forward this. Yeah. All right, so you have any questions for us? Um, no. Yeah. Just people looking. I'm nervous now. There's people like watching us, so I'm getting nervous. Good, good, good. Yeah, <laughs> scaring me. Uh, yeah, so one of us will be in touch with you tomorrow. Yeah. One of the detectives or We have an audience. Okay. I don't know what you said. We always get an audience. I don't, I don't like, if people are watching, I yeah, can't no, listen. Uh, one of us will be in touch with you tomorrow. Okay. That's all I said. Thank okay. you. I'm just sorry. That's like a huge thing for me, too. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I don't have a number for you at all, but... Oh, perfect. Thank you. Have a good night. That was it. Um, it was about ten minutes, just like they said. Um, I was terrified. There were fireworks going off in the distance. Um, yeah, like... This day is probably the scariest day of the year for me. Um, it's just not fun. There's no celebration about it. Like, I've faked it for so many years. It's just, it's traumatizing. And to, like, celebrate Canada Day, like, it's gross. It makes me feel gross. I don't want to do it. So I don't. Like, it's 12.30 in the morning, and I can hear people hooting and hollering that they're so happy it's Canada Day, and, like, there's also, like, hundreds of uh, people that don't have a home and they're just walking around these people that are celebrating Canada Day. And, yeah, people are going to get hurt. Of course they are. Like, and you're just going to blame the people who live here and, like, because you came down and visited. Like, what the fuck?
like fireworks don't need to exist anymore it's it's a lot and the sound recall of a firework needs to it's valid it's so valid like if you care at all for any person in the military then you know that a firework is really fucked up and if you care for anyone who's ever been around guns or gun violence or anyone who's improperly handled a firearm then the sound of a firework it, it will automatically send your body into a shock and it will react and you have no control over that and you get laughed at like it's not fair.